Alright guy, Bl Blue Troll 3.0 is finally out and basically what it does is you can use your PS3 controller as, as it says there and you can play iOS games using the controller which is also right here. I'm um, sorry guys, the lighting is messed up, it's about to snow outside so bear with me with this. It is still readable though. But this is called Blue Troll, it is $7 in the Big Boss Repo. But I actually got the crack version. I'm also going to link down the crack version in the description. Now, the crack version is obviously free. You can get it for free. And you already know you guys love free stuff. So, yeah, let's go into the Blue Troll app. Um, and all you got to do to set this up, as you can see, my icons is black and white. All you got to do to set this up, first things first, you got to add a controller. You gotta add this controller, and then you gotta download something on your computer, and then you gotta use the USB that comes with your PlayStation 3 controller. As you guys can see, the lighting is messed up. Turn on my light. My PS3 controller, as you guys can see there, boom. And then, and then once you download that, you gotta connect your iDevice, and then. Push that button and you automatically should be set. Obviously, you gotta be jailbroken. Obviously. Oh. And then, yeah, you just touch the game that you want. Modern Combat 4. And I strongly recommend that you play Modern Combat 4. If you want to have like a homemade, you know, console. Don't, don't call this bootleg, but this is a homemade console. Now, excuse for my photos there. Um, so Modern Combat is actually already set up. So you go into game. No, nope, not game. Go to the PS3. Customize the controls. Um, you I have the the right stick that. Have the um, the left stick that. Right stick that. X is actually to fire. I don't want that. Triangle is to change a weapon. Pick up a weapon. R1 is to shoot. Boxes to reload, etc. etc. You can have anything you want. You can move it around. You can actually resize this if you guys like. Um, that's what she said. The bigger the better because the bigger the circle is, the more sensitivity you have for those, you know, right moments. So let's get into the gameplay. Let me hook up my PlayStation 3. It should be already, you know, should be already set up already. So let's connect it. Now we select Modern Combat 4. Oh. Click connect right here. And then it's activating. And now it's saying rain for PS3. Boop. You turn on your PS3 and you connect it. And it sees your PS3. And then you go down to games. And you should be already set. Just select the game that you want to do. And then you just launch Modern Combat 4. Now, sorry for the shaky camera. I don't have display recorder enabled, obviously. Um, but, you know, I need to find a crack version of that or something. So, we launch in the game with my PlayStation 3 controller. And now, really the whole purpose of this video is to try to get it homemade. Have a homemade console. We halfway done with that, but then again, you will also need uh, a connector that goes to your TV. This is the HDMI version. You can get the component one. There's a lot of them, and really, better yet, you can get the AirPlay. If you guys have like Apple TV, you can actually do it like that. So let's just let's play by ourselves just to give a test out for this video. So we got this loading screen here, and Modern Combat is an excellent game, by the way. This is the best first-person shooting game on the iOS right now, and I totally do recommend it. And it is on sale right now for 99 cents, but normal price is like seven dollars, which is way overpriced. But it is it is worth it. It does have the campaign mode. It does have multiplayer with a lot of game modes. We are actually playing team battle, which is team deathmatch. I'm gonna click a step here. Um, a set and look at the specialty with this. You can, you're still gonna get like the icons and buttons and stuff. So, 
All you gotta do with that to get rid of that. All you gotta do controls and then opacity. You lower that down as low as you can. And I have my sensitivity all the way up. And you click resume. You have your opacity that where you can't see it. Now look. I'm actually using my PS3 controller. Now my sensitivity is a little low, but the problem is you gotta have the joystick at a fair size too as well. So it's easy to fix that. Um customize HUD. Just make this as big as you can. That's what she said. And then you click accept, resume. Now, you gotta actually go in and 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 refigure everything. So, last but not least, you wanna hook it up to your TV. You know, to get that gaming console experience, all you gotta do is take your iPad and actually this is the wrong side. Hopefully, it don't really matter. You take your iPad, you hook it up. You turn on your little TV. Now the controls may change too, as you guys see a black screen here. But I guess it wouldn't really matter. You just won't see the display. You could just set your iPad aside and change the mode on your TV. Once again, sorry for the lighting. Um, it is HDMI 4. So I'm changing my mode right now. And sorry for the sloppy camera. I'm just doing the best I can to show you guys how cool this is. Now, all you gotta do is this. It sees it. Boom! You got Modern Combat on your TV. This is amazing. Um, I should actually use my PVR for this now. But this video is almost done. It's just really cool. Um, it actually, you know, downscaled it. But... And it's just cool. <laughs> it's like playing Call of Duty. You know, I only pay 99 cents. And this is a cool jailbreak tweak. And I think you guys should check this out. And you're done. You got the. You just made a homemade console. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you learned something, subscribe if you're new. And like this video, guys. It would mean a lot to me. And thanks for watching. Peace.